I aim train on Kovacs. I have over 4,000 hours and I thought I'd go over on how to set up a controller. Once you get it right, it's actually quite simple, even though this game says no controller support. Before anything, you gotta make sure you overclock your controller so there's not the uh, extra delay. This video by Charlotte Seed, super easy to follow. So I'll link it down in the description. Setting it up is uh, quite easy. You should have a little controller icon, or maybe you don't. You can go to manage and then go to controller layout. If either of those don't pop up, you should just be able to uh, click on the gear icon and go to properties and controller should be here. You have to make sure you enable steam input. Okay, this is where a lot of people get it wrong. Once you are in this setup and you have controller enabled, you want to go into your layout. You're not gonna have this. You just wanna click into template and then you're gonna wanna choose keyboard, WASD and mouse. The right joystick sensitivity, you can put about at 200. Uh, I like playing somewhere near four to 600, but the in Kovacs scent will change your overall sense. It really just comes down to preference, but I'd say put that at 200 and then go to edit layout. You can remap all of your buttons. Uh, for my square on my back pedals, I have R just to restart the Kovacs scenario. And then X for space key. The important, important things to do though is make sure you don't have gyro on and for the track pads, you just wanna go and put all of this on none. Disable all of it because if you do not, you will be able to move around just by clicking here. So I have my left joystick uh, when I click it to escape key, just so I can escape easily out of a uh, Kovacs scenario. But the most important part is your right joystick. I'm gonna go to gear icon, your sense is here again. I use linear, you could uh, use whatever you want. I don't know games uh, response curve to Steam's response curve. I use linear in Black Ops 6 and linear in Kovac, so it's quite easy. But I don't think it matters that much. Um, just get it as close as possible. I'm gonna put this relative mouse. I believe it's already on that. A lot of it just stays the same. The two big things that you are going to want to do it's change the dead zone from, it will either be controller or no dead zone. You want to put it on custom. And then I have mine set to 100 for the max and then two. Of course, that'll be different for everyone. Circle, and then the rest of this, I just leave as it is. Okay, now once you're in Kovacs, just go to settings. I play Call of Duty, whatever game you're aiming for, you can choose. I don't know how much this does, but um, I just put it on COD. So this scent and your Steam scent is going to change your scent in game and how fast it's going. It's important to know you do not have to match your scents perfectly. It just has to be around. It just has to be around to how it feels in game or it really doesn't. Changing scents is actually pretty beneficial for your aim overall. DPI put at 1600. I'm not too sure how much this affects. You can see the controller has a little bit of stick drift. This is uh, not a perfect method, but I don't like putting up my dead zone in Steam. So there's a little bit of a uh, Stick drift is all right for me. Yeah, part of why this controller gets dead zone is these sticks aren't perfect. The goalie kit, the KK3, that controller gets a 0% dead zone error. That's a super sick controller, but for this one, there's gonna be a little bit of dead zone. Some people have tried to use a DS4 Windows. Uh, I've definitely tried to use this in the past to play Kovacs. I have it set up to where I can move my mouse around just with my controller, but this method is not too great. Uh, I could probably work with it a little bit more, and I've used it somewhat in Kovacs. It's just not as clean. Steam's controller support just seems to be the best. Yeah, and you can see here further, these sticks aren't perfectly uh, still all the time, so... All right, once you have it set up, it'll feel uh, pretty good. Nothing ever comes as close as to how good COD will feel just because the way Call of Duty handles a controller is a little bit different. I know for a while, linear on COD, at least when Warzone first came out, was not actually linear. They do a lot of weird things behind the scenes and you're not gonna get that when you use Steam's controller support. So it may not feel as clean, but uh, this is the best method I have found after 4,000 hours in Kovacs. Even though it's not as clean, it comes pretty close and it's just fine for aim training. Yeah, rank one, I think can beat controller smoothness. 4K hours on Kovacs. Right now I am live playing Black Ops 6 ranked with no aim assist. Come check it out.